Hi there. Let's read some Hemingway, a short story called The Old Man at the Bridge. An old man with steel-rimmed spectacles and very dusty clothes sat by the side of the road. There was a pontoon bridge across the river and carts and trucks and men and women and children were crossing it. The mule-drawn carts staggered up the steep bank from the bridge with soldiers helping push against the spokes of the wheels. The trucks ground up and away, heading out of it all, and the peasants plodded along in the ankle-deep dust. But the old man sat there without moving. He was just too tired to go any further. It was my business to cross the bridge, explore the bridgehead beyond, and to find out at what point the enemy had advanced. I did this and returned over the bridge. There were not so many cars now, and very few people on foot, but the old man was still there. Where do you come from? I asked him. He said, from San Carlos, and then he smiled. That was his native town, so it gave him pleasure to mention it. I was taking care of animals. Oh? Not quite understanding, I said. Yes, I stayed, you see, taking care of animals. I was the last one to leave the town of San Carlos. He didn't look like a shepherd or a herdsman, and I looked at his black, dusty clothes with his gray, dusty face and his steel-rimmed spectacles and said, well, what kind of animals were they? He says, various animals. I had to leave them. I was watching the bridge in the African-looking country of the Ebro Delta and wondering how long now it would be before we would see the enemy and listening all the while for the first noises that would signal that ever-mysterious event called contact. And the old man sat there. What animals were they, I said. There were three animals altogether, he explained. There were two goats and a cat, and then there were four pairs of pigeons. And you had to leave them? Yes, because of the artillery. The captain told me to go because of the artillery. And you have no family, I asked, watching the far end of the bridge where the last few carts and trucks were hurrying down the slope of the bank. No, only the animals, I stated. The cat, of course, will be all right. The cat can look out for itself, but I cannot think what will become of the others. What politics do you have, I asked. He said, I am without politics. I'm 76 years old. I've come 12 kilometers now, and I don't think I can go any further. Well, this isn't a good place to stop, I said. If you can make it, there are trucks up the road where it forks for Tortosa. I will wait a while, he said, and then I will go. Where do the trucks go? Towards Barcelona, I told him. I know no one in that direction, he said, but thank you very much. Thank you so very much. He looked at me very blankly and tired. Ben said, having to share his worry with someone, the cat will be all right, I'm sure. There's no need to be unquiet about the cat, but the others. I'm caring about the others. What do you think about the others? Well, they'll probably come through all right, I said. You think so, he said? Why not, I said, watching the far bank where now there were no cars or trucks. But what will they do under the artillery when I was told to leave because of the artillery? Did you leave the dove cage unlocked? I asked. Yes. Then they'll fly. Yes, certainly they'll fly, but the others. I don't even want to think about the others, he said. If you are arrested, I would go, I urged. Now get up and try to walk now. Thank you, he said, and he got up to his feet. And he swayed from side to side, and then he sat back down in the dust. I was taking care of animals, but no longer to me. He was just speaking out into the air. I was taking care of animals. There was nothing to do about him. It was Easter Sunday, and the fascists were advancing towards the town. It was a gray, overcast day with a low ceiling so the planes were not up. That and the fact that cats know how to look after themselves 
was all the good luck that old man would ever have. Ernest Hemingway. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.